But new developments now, another arrest in the missing person case of Almost Park mother Suzanne Simpson. Police arrested her husband, Brad Simpson's longtime business partner. His name is John James Cotter, and it's revealing legal issues that both Brad and Cotter faced. James Cotter was arrested around 7 last night. His charge of felony for tampering with or fabricating physical evidence with intent to impair. He's been ordered a court appointed attorney and will be under house arrest. He was also ordered to surrender his passport. Court documents show in 2017 Cotter and Brad Simpson worked together under the business name of Cotter and Sons. The business was bought by the National Business Services and then was sued by NBS for breach of contract. Cotter and Simpson filed a motion for a new trial, but that was denied. DPS confirmed James Cotter's arrest, saying, quote, during the missing person investigation in Olmos Park, investigators learned that Mr. Cotter had committed the offense of tampering with evidence. And we don't, still don't know what exactly that means, what evidence DPS found, but this comes as a clear alert is now canceled for Suzanne Simpson. Olmos Park police say the search for Suzanne has turned into a recovery mission. The case is getting nationwide attention and almost park officials are facing a lot of pressure to find Suzanne. They have scoured several areas, almost park the couple's home near the Bernie Tower and a landfill, which we showed you for three days, but they still haven't found her. News for San Antonio's Marisa Mendoza spoke with an attorney who had some big questions about the investigation and how it's gone so far. Back at the Simpson home, everything appears to be quiet with police cars patrolling the area. We spoke to a defense attorney earlier in the day who told us police may have rushed to arrest Brad Simpson due to pressure from the community. The rush to judgment and the push to arrest, I think, destroyed where this case should be right now. Robbie Ward is a veteran attorney with experience as both a prosecutor and defense attorney. She is not involved in the Brad Simpson case, but has been watching closely what's been reported. That's the horror of how this has all been handled. We are no closer to knowing anything today than we were two and a half, three weeks ago. She says in her opinion, police acted prematurely without properly gathering all the necessary evidence. And she says at the very least, it could compromise 53-year-old Brad Simpson's right to a fair legal process. Who knows what would have happened if he had actually been given the opportunity to come in, talk to them, and leave. Currently, he's at the Bear County Jail being held on a $2 million bond for two misdemeanors and a federal detainer. Ward says the fact that Suzanne Simpson remains missing challenges the legality and strength of the prosecution's case. Everyone has decided you did it, and that's the position that this man was in when he got arrested. So he decided to do, frankly, the smart thing and not say anything. Does that make you uncooperative? Or does that make you someone who sees the writings on the wall? I've, I've, I need to do what I need to do to, to save myself. From the North Side, Marisa Mendoza, News 4, San Antonio. Thank you, Marisa. Barton Simpson, Brad's brother, took to social media today to voice his frustration with the case. He said, quote, the truly ludicrous thing is that Brad refuses to cooperate with the authorities while his wife is missing, leaving his children and family in pain, end quote. And we will continue to follow this investigation and we'll still be trying to answer the questions that are out there. We'll be following up with police to learn more. Like what is Cotter's connection to Suzanne's disappearance? What evidence did almost Park Police find? What other places are they searching? And ultimately, we want to know where is Suzanne?